McGoldrick fires first. Tries to get through with the uppercut. Gwani Arachi with that left hook just missed. Is it going to be all tied up? We're in. Oh, no, and the Welshman lands. He didn't get it. Didn't get a point. It's going to go to the judge. Three it's seconds. Going to, the judges. to the bell. Oh, oh and a right hand, hand on the bell. Right on the bell. Wani Arachi thought he landed. He it did, did land, land. But it didn't register. We're tied up at seven points each. Wow. We'll have a recount of the judges' scorecards, and if they still can't separate them, it will purely be a decision, a subjective decision by each judge, best of five. Or best well, they were both separate that. They were both, they were both fantastic. They were both absolutely fantastic. They wow. take away the highest and lowest score. And Manju, Wani Arachi, Pips, Sean McGoldrick. Wow. With the recount, 16 to 14. He bows to all sections of the crowd. Disappointment for the Welsh teenager. He was magnificent this afternoon. Wasn't but he ever. Manju, Wani Arachi wins gold for Sri Lanka in the Bantamweight division. And then... What a marvellous final. Unbelievable final, right down to the wire. And, you know, even, even the judges, right at the end, were so, so close. Incredible. Great performance from the young Sean McGoldrick, who's got an awesome future at 18 years of age, the Welshman. Overcome with emotion. Manju Wanirachi. Pictures tell the story there. That's how much gold means to that 30-year-old. How close can a fight be? That was unbelievable. That was so, so the judges, exciting. they take away the highest and lowest score, and then the other three remaining cards get added up. And with uh, the differential for the Welshman, meaning that he went down 16 points to 14.